hired you for one job. One. Against my objections, and only because my associates are anxious to progress to phase three. We shouldn't talk about Genesis. Don't lecture me about secrecy. What the fuck? Early on the same night. <coughs> well, the movie. <laughs> oh, you want me to kill her now? Show me. Try to kill me. What are you? Miss Fayad, many members of Hive, they consider me to be a charlatan. Well, I guess uh, did lost the lead. This demonstration was for you, Mr. Tell. <laughs> How do you feel? How do I... Did you just... How do I feel? The fuck? You look like the worst dad ever. You will be compelled to kill until you've slain the one who hurt you. But I can't. Okay, Ross is already dead. Then the only way to cope is to indulge the bloodlust on others. Isn't the one... Um, the guy that... Mr. Blondie, Blondison, he was in um, The Curie Diaries. I fucking forgot his name entirely. Did he die? Did he get killed? Because, like, I'm just saying, she could slay him. That could fix her. But if you bring Sarah back, then Sarah will have to slay her. Then it gets messy. She's not coming up on any of our traffic or security cams, but I think I have the next best thing. She's dead. Her cell phone, or at least the one that followed her through airport security on the way to Star City. Where's the phone now? Redmond and 8th. Three years on this island, and I have been hurt every way you can imagine. I know what kills. I know what cripples. And what just hurts. Stop! Stop! He didn't take the drugs. I did. Of course he did. Wait, wait, wait. You've already executed one prisoner today. How's Ryder gonna feel about you exterminating his workforce? Oh, I think you make an exception for a thief. Or I just make her disappear. He's not gonna help Sarah and he's not gonna help me. Thea. Don't talk to me. I was only trying to help you. Help me? Yeah, that's funny on more than a few levels. My favorite is you are the reason why I am like this in the first place. I know. We are bound together forever. Oh, shut you up. Me. You're the worst dad ever. Daughter. Father of the year you are. Let me prove it to you. Do you think after knowing what that pit has done to me, that I would let that happen to Sarah? I think if you are truly now sincere like, yeah, in fighting okay, your bloodlust, you would offer the same to Sarah. My first chance for answers. My last chance. I'm sorry. Don't be Oliver. This isn't your fault. We're gonna get answers. Oliver, I haven't been able to get answers for more than two years now. Yeah, because you've been for doing more it alone. Than two years. You've been doing this alone. Yeah. It's not a playing card at all. Now, in my experience, playing cards don't contain motor proteins, appropriate receptors, and a neural net. The responsible thing to do would be able to get this back to its rightful owner. Is there any way to track him down? See this ink here, for lack of a better word? It's magnetite, which is the key component to tattooing. You don't say. I do. I also say that magnetite happens to guide the internal compass of birds, specifically homing pigeons. If your hypothetical poker opponent has a deck full of these cards, he'll probably be able to find you faster. Curtis, we have to. I'm gonna make you two a deal. First one to tell me where you can find the green arrow gets to live. Does the board of directors know there's a secret elevator in the building? Yeah! Uh, 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 I work with the green arrow. This man is trying to kill me. Well, us, uh, sorry. Uh, and I'm taking us down to the only place that we're gonna be safe. The lobby? Not exactly. You have a hidden floor. We should be safe here. But just in case. How the hell did he get down here? Oh, okay. 
What happened? Your meta came back to retrieve his ace of spades. And you, you fended him off? Don't sound so surprised. Okay, I had a little bit of help from a coworker, but to be honest, he was more freaked out than I was. Well, is he all right? Yes, he's fine. I sent him to Starling General, and he only knows about my secret, not yours. He's headed for the Star City Expressway, probably hightailing his way back to Central City. Too bad he's not gonna make it. So did they just bury her in her clothes? I would see you all day if I let really you do this. Laurel, please, don't. Are you sure you want to do this? Just keep going. Fucked up, but I'm here for it. What's wrong? I told you. The pit has never been used for. No, wait. Except Andres and Todd. Look. Sarah? She's back! There's I! Who's behind the ghost? Tell me! You know what your problem is? You don't scare me half as much as he does. You okay? Yeah! Kevlar help! She took a bullet for me. Did you they expect were. any less? Cisco has our meta in lockup at Iron Heights. Yeah, we still can't get any intel. I'm just too afraid of Damien Dark. Oh, why? What are the odds that Double Down told Dark about Layer 2.0? Enough that we should start thinking about Layer 3.0. I've been working on something. Between us and Richards? No, between us and... <laughs> between us and the landmine. Listen to me. I am not gonna kill you. But you need to trust me, or we're both dead. Well, you seem pretty calm for a guy who nearly got killed by a metahuman. Miss Smoke, I came to Palmer Tech so I can help make this city a better place. Can you even imagine how excited I am to know that my boss is doing exactly that? Well, you really helped out, Curtis. Miss Smoke, is, is everything okay? I don't know. <laughs> you are the one. <laughs> I'm sorry. The same thing happened to you when you first came out of the pit. She's just taking longer. It's probably because she How did you know? Well, you didn't know that she came out of the pit at all. What have you done? My father was not a trusting man. He devised a means to destroy the pit should its powers fall into the wrong hands. I warned you, Laurel. I beg to you. What happened to Sarah last year was on Malcolm's hands. But what's happening to her now is on yours. Alrighty, well that was Arrow, season four, episode three, I think. Um, it's okay. It's an all right episode. Um, I feel like they didn't give Laurel much to go with, like in this episode, like, the idea was to, you know, bring Sarah back and everything like that, but I don't know, I feel like you didn't really get a chance for them to sit down and actually talk about these feelings and how Thea feels about the idea, like, them talking about it to each other. I don't know. That kind of bothered me a little bit. Um... Yeah, it was just an alright episode, I guess. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, uh, uh.